Welcome everyone, today we build a formidable troll and ogre combat encounter with engaging tactics, interactive terrain, and influential factions. I hope our ideas help upgrade your D&D campaign in Foundry Virtual Tabletop. Let's begin by world building a faction that will support our villains, and then explore how they will interact with our heroes. I created a step-by-step -step tutorial for creating interactive factions on my channel if you are interested in learning more. Let's name our faction the Iron Pact. Their main motivation is security. The Iron Pact is a united coalition of different tribes from the Underdark. There are goblins, hobgoblins, deep gnomes, trolls, and ogres. They were forced to unite because the followers of Loth invaded their territory. They fought fiercely for many months, but were ultimately defeated. They are relocating to the surface to avoid extermination. Now let's talk about the Iron Pact's two immediate goals. The first thing they want are military supplies, because they strongly believe in survival of the fittest. In the Underdark, if you are weak, you ended up dead. The Iron Pact desperately wants more strength. The next goal is territory. They want to completely dominate a region and subjugate the people living there into slavery. This means stealing everything they have and then capturing their children to be raised into warriors. Everyone else will be forced into hard labor like mining, farming, and logging. The next step is introducing the Iron Pact to our heroes. In the southern corner, we have four exceptional level 5 heroes, weighing in at 184 combined hit points and a trusty warhorse. They are camped and eating dinner with no idea what is going on. We have a paladin with the Oath of Devotion, a thief rogue, a wizard from the School of Evocation, and a barbarian walking the path of Berserker. Each of these superb heroes carries a potion of healing. In the northern corner we have two mighty meaty ogres, a young troll and a troll chieftain, weighing in at 261 combined hit points. They carry a single soft iron javelin, each of which slows targets by five feet for one turn. They wield crude great clubs with such strength that they can knock back victims and drive warriors to the fetal prone position. The trolls have sharp teeth that grab and hold the flesh of their victims. On the battlefield, we have placed a fast moving river that slows to a shallow ford. The shallow water slows characters to half speed as they pass. The deep waters require an athletics check to swim across. The trees, rocks, and buildings give opportunities for cover, while the bushes and tents give concealment. A poor fisherman screams in terror as the ogres and trolls rampage toward our heroes. Here we see the troll chieftain run and dash downward toward the shore of the river. A uh, slight misclick on the warhorse there. Let's get him out of there. Alright, the ogre is going to be in dashing toward the ford. The troll is going to tell him to get across the river as quickly as possible. But he's going to be greeted by that difficult terrain. There we see the rogue, the thief, moving quickly and swiftly towards the river readying a short bow, readying an arrow. He's going to use cutting action to dash. Fires off a quick arrow, striking the ogre. Oof, dealing a chunk of damage and his turn. Now here comes our wizard, the most important player. Uh, best idea would be to cast fireball here. Throw down, destroy that troll, destroy those ogres. Yep. Oh yeah. Three and one. And battle is basically over at that point right there. Or maybe the javelins will skewer the skewer the wizard and kill him. And then the trolls will regenerate afterwards. Who knows? Fisherman's gonna try to get across. He can't swim across. He's stuck there. Yeah, he's uh, he's weakened for sure. He's floundering in the water. Here comes our paladin, getting out of his tent, groggy. He needs to make a split second decision. He sees the ogres, he sees the trolls, he's gonna target his friends and he will press bless he's gonna put a bless on them and uh, that's gonna probably be it for him all right can he heal he cannot heal because he does dealt fire damage so the trolls gonna come over here and he's gonna line up that javelin target that wizard let's see if he hits Ooh, sails past one javelin down the ogres get dash across oh never mind he sees he's an idiot he sees that fisherman and okay goodbye fisherman Good. Alright, he, yeah, he has a little bit more. Let me get across. There's a 
there. He's going to deliver that nice rage. He's going to scream in rage here. And of course he has Frenzy, so he has an extra attack. Let's see what we got here. Let's target that Ogre. Do one Great Axe attack. He has an extra attack too, so that's a total of three. But because he raged this one, he doesn't get the uh, third one. Ah, forgot to do the extra attack. Troll Chieftain. Alright, so that's the other Javelin. Let's see if this Javelin hits. Oh, is it? He's got a shield, of course, if you see a Javelin coming at you. But it's a little hit. 11 damage. About a third of the HP. And Wizard's got to be worried now. And Ogre's going to get across. And even with difficult terrain, he's going to be able to get there. He's pretty fast. Switch to his great club. He's going to swing. He's going to Of course, the rogue's going to dodge. Gets hit. Alright, we'll have to subtract half of that damage because of the uncanny dodge. It reduces the damage to half. Uh, let's type in... Oh, alright. I'm minus... I actually accidentally took... He accidentally took 5 damage, so I had to increase it by 10 to compensate at the end. We're going to do some flanking with that rogue, just like what a player would do. He's going to get behind him, draw that rapier, and stab at his back. Go with advantage. We get the flanking, plus the bless bonus. He hits, dealing 6 damage. Now I should do the sneak attack, but I didn't. That's a whoops. Alright, next is going to be that wizard. He is going to need to make a decision here. Best choice is, yep, fireball. And he's going to fireball those trolls. Keep them from regenerating. Oh my god. 32 damage, 36 damage. Just crushing. Alright, ogre time. Ogre should probably be dead, but it's not going to matter. Paladin's going to finish him off. Oh yeah, that was just gone. Man, this, this is supposed to be a deadly encounter, guys. And we're crushing them here. We're absolutely crushing them. We're not even breaking a sweat. Yep, yeah, mounting that horse, getting across. Doesn't heal. He got damaged by that fireball. Yeah, that ogre, that troll's got to run away. If he's, if he's, I mean, even trolls, like, even if you're an idiot, if you get hit by two fireballs, you're just going to run. He's going to regroup. This ogre is going to, you know, he's, he's stuck in there. He can't do anything. He knocks down that halfling, sending him into the prone position. There we have our lovely halfling firing off one swing, firing off another swing with the extra attack. That's going to hit. And then one more because of frenzy. That's a 10. It's going to hit. And goodbye, ogre. Now, of course, that troll cannot heal. He has to retreat. He's the chief. He's observing the scene. Yep, all the ogres are dead. No hope. He's dashing. He's gone. All right. Now we're gonna do a little cunning action dot. Or sorry, cutting action dash. Get across, and then he's gonna pull out his uh, bow, knock an arrow, and fire off a quick shot. Try to finish off that troll. It hits. It was a little bit of damage. Trolls are pretty tough. All right. Now we get across. Now you felt that javelin. Xana felt that javelin hit her uh, hit her leg, and she doesn't want that again. So let's go ahead and cast mage armor. Keep it safe. Next, we're gonna get on that horse, ride across the river. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that's about that's right around where you'd be able to get to. Uh, can you heal? Yes, because last turn you didn't get hit by any fire or acid. Already in action, hitting the first person that comes over. All right, there it is. And yes, of course, you're healing. Players are condensing and regrouping on the other side of the river. The trolls are putting you into a defensive shell. But of course, they don't have any ranged weapons yet. They already threw their javelins. Oh, here comes the wizard. No more fireballs, though. So he's going to have to rely on something else. All right, paladin. Uh... He's going to dismount, get in there, try to finish off that troll. He can't really get past the tree in the shed with the war horse. Oh my goodness, the critical. It's, it's absolutely destructive. The, uh, the destruction, the annihilation of this encounter. The deadly encounter, by the way. This is supposed to be really deadly. But nope. Now, he, because Merrick didn't take any damage last time, we're going to end that rage, and then we'll have to reapply it. Uh, swing in one great axe. And then another one due to uh, due to that extra attack. Oh well, I guess I forgot there. And uh, well, yeah, he's gonna take a, he's gonna heal ten more. And now we're gonna finally see the power of the troll. The trolls have three attacks. They have two great club attacks. First one hits. 
He succeeds, so he doesn't get knocked prone, he doesn't get knocked back. Second one, he's gonna try for another big club hit. He could go for that paladin, finished off his friend. And then third attack is gonna be the bite attack. The bite attack grapples if you fail the strength check. Fails the constitution saving throw. Concentration's gone, bless is gone. Rogue's gonna come on in, trying to get in range for that sneak attack. Can't quite get in there, so he's gonna do that short bow. He could have gone with the cutting action to get in closer, but hey, why risk it? Right? That troll is pretty healthy. Alright, most important character, wizard, coming in. Uh, you're pretty smart. You know that the troll regenerates and you don't hit them with fire. So let's go ahead and hit them with the fire bolt. Jeez, a high roll there. 19. There it is. One long sword attack. Rolling that 19. It hits. Oh, dealing a good amount of damage. But we should add on to that. Why not? There's the divine smite. Oh. Goodbye, alright, how oh, the full fury of three attacks. Attack one hits. Oh, cuts off an arm. Oh, another one. There goes the other arm. Oh, you still had one more, Merrick. God dang it. Alright, desperate three attacks. One going at Krusk. Another one going at Krusk. It hits this time. Ah, uh, but he succeeds. He's a tough nut to crack. Third one's gonna mess. Alright, there it is. Get on behind him. Go for that flanking maneuver. Draw that rapier. And... Oh. But he had advantage, so he gets the roll again. Oh yeah, there it is. And this time, let's go ahead and roll the... Roll that... Sneak attack damage. We'll find it. There it is. Yep, nine damage. He's almost finished. And there it is. The wrist is going to finish him off. Uh, that is appropriate. Let's get in close and just shoot him with that point blank burning hands. Yeah, get in there. Yeah, let's turn that around. Make sure not to hit our friends. And. Boom. He's gone. And there it is, boys. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, oh man, two trolls and two ogres, and they're upgraded ogres by the way, and look at that, fully calculated using our top 10 modules to improve our combat.